Good morning, everyone. Today is 6th of June, 2017. This is Engineer Safe greeting you and trying to explain for you the components of controller kits in the indoor separate units. Every one of us has heard about a controller kit in the indoor separate units. Maybe some of us not interested, not interested, maybe he is. But uh, I'm talking to those who are interested in this device in the indoor split unit. How could it control operating and stopping the components in the split? Okay, such a good question. Let's see, first of all, the components that the controlling kit consists of, then after that, we'll see the mechanism. Well, let's say. This is a summary of the working, but the other industrial details and technical details we will illustrate for you in the next coming up videos. Okay, let's start. I am looking at the controlling board kits, which is inside a Goldie uh, separate unit, indoor separate unit. Okay, let's start with the transformer. Every one of us knows that this kit. In order to work, it should be getting a, getting a feed, a voltage feed, from the transformer. Okay. Let's say that is the input uh, voltage for this transformer going to be live, and the eastern uh, or no, eastern homeland is going to be 220. But we know it uh, it is in the western homeland. This is going to be like a 110 something like this. Anyway. So this transformer will get an input and it will be live voltage, 220, 110, depends. But the output out of it going to be maybe 10, maybe 12, maybe 24. But I have to understand something. That is the output voltage that comes out of this transformer is to feed the components over here. What do I look at? What is all this mess? It looks like uh, like a scary things. No, it's not. It's not. Everything over here works as a switch. Works as a switch. Okay. And whoever switch on, whoever and which component switch off. Let's look at the matter like this. Here is the brand. Look at this chip over here. It is the brand which is getting a voltage feed from the output of this transformer okay and it is controlling everything over here by sending electrical signals okay so simple so far let's see what are those things over here those things we call it a relay a relay which means it is a switch it's electrical switch okay when it's on it turns on it, it turns on the component outside when it's off it shut down the components maybe it's outside maybe inside okay this is this is what it works this is the function out of it what are these these are the ports the ports that get in signals maybe from outside the unit and maybe it sends it sends signals to the components outside okay very nice what else what is this thing over here we call it a fuse this is kind of a protection against the high against the high current so sweet so it, what does it mean it does mean when my current goes really high it will burn when it burns up it will just cut off the power from the whole thing over here and this is kind of a protection okay very nice and what about these things over here we call it capacitors capacitors maybe the electrical engineering uh, maybe electrical engineers know very well that the capacitors is very important components in our electronic boards why it's injecting it is injecting which means my current over here and my voltage it will be go to the component as it's been planned as built okay no more no less 
what else I have diodes over here bridge rectifiers bridge rectifiers too one over here one over there and a couple transistors let's move on to see how does it work okay when the power goes to the transformer over here it will feed let's see the output of it as it's notified from the company see the input over here is 240 the output is going to be 10 voltage and the ampere 0.75 very nice okay what's gonna happen after that what's gonna happen after that it will operate pri uh, priorly it operates uh, the chip the controlling chip over here okay what else the controlling chip it is con uh, connected to the sensors over here those sensors over here it works as the eyes or eye or just like the hands they've been touching the temperature outside just to translate this temperature the physical signal into electrical signal over here is it is, is this technique looks like a to d converter yes it is a to d converter it's not looks like it is a analog to digital analog to digital conversion technique over here the sensors goes outside the the kit and after that it will send the electrical signals to the internal chip sweet what after that i have to understand what where does it go where does it go according to this controlling kit the first sensor over here goes to the outdoor unit why because it's uh, because the internal the internal controlling board it will depend on this sensor to find out how far does it go outside yes where does it go it is go in the radiator and the radiator very nice what about these two? First one the air sensor this go it is go to the evaporator there is a specific place for the air sensor it goes inside the evaporator and it will sensing how could how good it is the indoor support unit to cooling the air inside the room okay so this slot over here for the uh, air air sensing very nice and what about this one it's another sensor goes to the evaporator again but goes uh, goes in between the uh, the evaporator pipes why just kind of sensing or another technique to find out does it go does it go uh, really cool is it cooling is it cooling or there is a blocking or there is so it is sensing the temperature of the evaporator pipe very nice so I have here two sets of temperatures sensing over here first uh, the first one to uh, it is getting the reading for the air that comes through the evaporator and the other one for the temperature of the pipes inside that evaporator okay okay now what is going to happen when the outside sensor getting reading for the ambient temperature outside uh, actually it is not just the ambient it's not just the ambient temperature but it will be the ambient plus the temperature that comes out of the, the, the that comes out of the pipes in the radiator why because it cools down it cools down in that radiator so it's going to be the ambient plus the pipes temperature okay so it will get a reading we'll go to the chip over here what about these two first one will keep sensing will keep taking readings of the air inside the room that one will keep taking the reading of the uh, of the pipes inside the pipe the evaporator okay when both of these sensors get a linear readings and of course this is his job over here the, the chips job over here to make the comparison to what to the setting degrees according to the internal program of this chip over here so let's say 
that the temperature outside is going to be 48. The ambient, of course, it's going to be higher if we added the temperature of the radiator, uh, the temperature of the radiator to the ambient. Okay, what about the inside? First operation going to be 32, then after that it will reach, let's say, 28 or something like this. It will understand, the chip will understand that everything goes well, so he will give his signals. Signals for what? At the first reading that he gets over here when it's uh, when it's 48 outside ambient, when it is inside 32, it will give his signal to the compressor relay to make him work. Then after that, when it's reached the the target, the temperature target, it will give the same signal, another signal, matter of fact, to uh, to turn it off, the compressor outside. Okay, and what is happening about these relays over here? It's so using the same technique. It will give the temp the signal to the internal fan, so it can work using this relay. Then the same thing gonna happen with the stepper mo motors that uh, can operating the stepper motors, with the, which is moving the the vents, the horizontal vents, the, uh, the the vertical vents, something like this. Okay, let's see. What about these slots over here? Slots over here uh, just to connect to the uh, dashboard, which is uh, displaying for us the the temperature, the mode of the of the split, uh, something like uh, something like this, and it is uh, different from uh, from AC unit to the AC unit according to the trade mark. Last of all, let's uh, let's just speak about the the sport the inside uh, fan the inside fan slot over here as we can see as we can see there is a neutral and there is a three there is a three degrees for the high for the mid for the low and the compressor and the uh, capacitor over here so we can just connect the uh, internal fan slot to this socket over here so we can turn it on and turn it off Thank you for your watching. My last, my last advice for you: don't do this at home because to because it requires for you a higher skill. At least minimally, you have to be working with the uh, air conditioning and uh, heating and ventilation. Uh, minimally five years to know and to be qualified to assemble and disassemble an internal controlling board kits. Otherwise, come on. The electricity is too dangerous, too dangerous for your life. So don't do this at home, please. Okay? I'm illustrating everything for you. And we will go more details in the next coming up videos. Thank you for watching again. See you.